hi guys welcome back to another video so today i'll be teaching you how to make the diamond granny shorts and i already have the list of materials needed right on your screen you need um some yarn and i'll be using the milk cotton yarn i got from aliexpress.com and also you need a pair of scissors for this project to cut off excess yarns and also you need a tip measure to measure the essential parts and for the hook size i'll be using the 3.0 millimeter hook but you can go ahead and use the specified um, hook for the particular of yarn you choose for this project so this is how my 3.0 millimeter hook is it's and it's made of metal and i love how it is also you need some stitch markers you can use a um, piece of yarns to replace the stitch markers if need be so without much wasting what of your time let's get right into the video so to begin the granny shorts you are going to make a basic um, magic ring and to make the magic ring you are going to wrap the yarn around your finger as if you are making a slip knot and then you are going to grip it as seen to um grab the circle created in order to work in um the stitches so you are going to pull the yarn at the back of the circle and then you are going to chain a total of four chains so after chaining a total of four chains you are going to grab wrap the yarn around the hook insert into the space pull through it becomes three on the hook pull through two and then it becomes two pull through final to making the, your double crochet stitches so in total you are supposed to have eight double crochets with chain one spaces in between so after chaining one you are going to do your regular double crochet as seen and remember that the chain four counts as a double crochet so you have made three so far so chain one and working your double crochet again making four chain one again working your double crochet once again this is the fifth one chain one and this is the sixth one chain one this is the seventh one and then we are going to work <coughs> our very last double crochet so we have seven in total with chain one spaces in between so this is the very last double crochet worked in the magic ring so after that i'm going to pull to tighten up by grabbing that excess yarn and pulling to close and after that i'm going to make a simple um, slip stitch in the third space of the chain four so just go ahead and count to the third space and insert your hook pull through and slip stitch and then we are done with your very first section or row for this project so this is how your magic circle is going to look and then i'm going to work in um, by changing colors so you are going to just chain one pull your yarn and then use your pair of scissors to cut off and then you are going to get ready to take your uh, the next yarn you are going to use so i'm going to use the orange shade for the next one so this is how the orange shade is and it's the same as the male cotton so with the orange seed i'm just going to take my hook and then make a slip knot as seen so you, you make your slip knot as if you are tying something you insert the hook into the slip knot and then you are going to chain just one so after chaining just one you are going to locate any chain one space and then you are going to slip stitch into that chain one space to begin the next row so i just slip stitch into a chain one space and then what i'm going to do is to chain up three and then double crochet three times into the same space so remember that the chain three counts as a double crochet so when you make two in total it's going to be three so next i'm going to chain to move to the next space and i'm going to put in three double crochet in the same space as seen so after that you are going to chain two again move to the next space put your three double crochets in the same space we are going to repeat 
this for the orange sheet by chaining two and double crocheting inside the same chain once the chain one space all around so you are going to locate all the chain one spaces and you are going to put three double crochets in the chain one spaces not forgetting that you are going to chain two for each cluster so every cluster has chain two spaces separating them to so get to the end of the row and then i'm going to change colors as well so go ahead repeat make sure you locate the chain one spaces and put your three double crochets inside the space um, and in total you are going to have eight clusters of double crochet so if you end up not having eight clusters then that means you made a mistake with the base so just follow along and make sure your clusters are a total of um, eight um, clusters of double crochets so as you are double crocheting you can hide in the yarns so that you don't have to trouble uh, have much trouble weaving in the ends so i'm done with my seventh one and this is the exact last cluster of double crochet i'm going to locate that last um, chain one space and i'm going to put three double crochets in the same space for this row so after doing that i'm going to go right ahead and um, i just chain up to and slip stitch into the on top of the first chain the chain three space we made for this row for the beginning of the row so this is what you're going to have i'm going to have two nice circles and then you are just going to chain one and cut off as we did for the very first one and then we are good to go you are just going to move to the next change of color and it's very easy this time i'm using the red heart super saver for the white and it's an acrylic uh, it's an acrylic yarn so as i did i just chained one and then i looked for the chain to space and slip stitch to join so after doing that i'm going to chain up three and i'm going to move into the same space and add two extra double crochet in the same space putting in the back of my mind that the chain three counts as a double crochet so in total three double crochets so after doing that i'm going to chain to move to the next chain two space and with this we are going to put in three to, um, double crochets chain two and then three double crochets inside the same exact space which is the chain two space so make sure you put in three double crochets chain two three double crochets and yes you are just basically forming a granny square as you see in the picture so just put it in the back of your mind and follow this lead. next you are going to chain two move into the next space and i'm going to put three double crochets just three clusters of double crochets inside so after that i'm going to chain two and this is the row where i'm going to do that this is the step where i'm going to do the three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the same exact space so it's kind of some simultaneous um then the next one is going to be three double crochets in the same space the following one will be three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the same space so this is how we make the corners of the granny square and then this is how you are going to follow so next i'm going to chain two and you know the usual thing is going to be the three double crochets in the same space so after i done the next one is going to be after chaining up to the next one is going to be the three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the same space so i'm going to repeat this and then as um seen in the picture for the granny um square we are going to form the corners for the this um square so as you move on you are forming the corners and then uh, when you are done you change colors as well so after doing this last corner um this is how it's going to be and i'm almost ending so next i'm going to chain two and this time three cluster of double crochets inside the same space um as i explained so just put your three cluster of double crochets in the same space and then you are going to chain up two and then the next one is three double crochets um chain two three double crochets so this is actually the last 
corner for the granny square so move along make sure you put three double crochets chain two three double crochets into the same space and then when you are done you are going to connect finally with a chain two so just chain two and then look for the top of the very first chain three you made and then make sure you maneuver your way to slip stitch so i'm done and this is how the granny square is going to look like and then i'm going to chain one and just use my pair of scissors to cut off and get ready for the next section for this short so this is how the granny shorts is going to look like and we are going to change colors and move to the next color so as usual i'm going to make a slip stitch and this is how i made my slip stitch you can do it like you are tying a knot or how i did it and then i'm going to locate the space and then slip stitch into that space the chain to space so next i'm going to chain up three as usual and inside that same space we are going to work two extra double crochets meaning the chain three was uh, a double crochet so in total it's three double crochets so next i'm going to chain up one this time and move to the corner space and in that same corner space you are going to work your three double crochets chain two three double crochets in that same exact space so that means when you get to the corners um, where you have three double crochets chain two three double crochets you are going to repeat the same day and when you get to the middle of the clusters you are going to repeat the three um, cluster of double crochets in between so after chaining one i'm going to move to that next space place my regular three cluster of double crochets in that same space and i'm going to do another one again by chaining one going in between that um, and putting three double crochets chain two three double crochets putting three double crochets alone sorry in the same space and then after ch doing that you're going to chain one and then move to the next piece this is where i'm going to put three double crochets chain two three double crochets so make sure you locate wherever the peaks or the corners are and you're going to do the same thing but what is amazing about the granny square is that as time goes by the clusters keep increasing so the clusters in between keep increasing and then you get some expansion so i'm going to chain one and repeat the three cluster of double crochet in the next piece and after that i'm going to chain up one once again going between and put my three double crochets in the same space and realize that from the white section it had only one cluster and this time when we change to the um, pink session it turned out to be two so the next session will be three clusters and it keeps repeating and then you just repeat the same thing for the corner as seen and making sure if you follow this um, pattern we are going to have an exciting creation of the granny um, square pattern so just make sure you chain one go in between with your clusters when you get to the three double crochets chain two three double crochets you are going to repeat the same thing um to, in order to maintain the peak and then um, promote expansion so this is the basic technique um, for the granny square pattern and i'm going to actually work this um to form the shorts so yeah so this is the very almost we are almost at the last section and this is the very last cluster of double crochet we are going to make and i'm going to connect with a chain two a chain one instead so just chain one and slip stitch into the very first chain three you made from the previous row and we are done so just chain one cut off change colors or you can maintain your color as far as you want it just um it's just your choice for this short so i actually um started with the back section and i made the granny shorts i made a granny pattern and i turned it like this so we are going to work on the orange section i'm trying to pinpoint so i'm going to work the orange section and then we are done with so i repeated with the orange section and it's just the basic repetition but this time there were three clusters 
of double crochet for the size as i told you the clusters keep increasing so i'm going to show you how i worked the some parts of the base so to work some parts of the base you are going to take your next color of yarn and then you are just going to chain up one make a slip knot and chain up one as seen and then i'm going to locate on top of the chain two and slip stitch for the cluster section which is chain three double crochet chain um chain um sorry three double crochets chain two three double crochets so after that i'm going to chain three move to the next class um space and put in three double crochets as seen so make sure you slip stitch on top of the peak or the corner so after that i'm going to chain one go into the next space and place my regular three double crochets in the same space creating the same cluster so you are going to move along chain one putting your three regular double crochets in the spaces until you meet the next peak so this is the last cluster of double crochet for this side and then i'm going to move into the next peak and i'm just going to chain up one this time i'm going to go into that chain two space for the peak and in that same space i'm going to put in three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the same space as seen so yeah make sure you place your three double crochets chain two three double crochets in that same space and then you still maintain the peak so next i'm going to chain one go in between and then place your three double crochets in the same space and then i'm going to have this feature so next i'm going to chain one move to the next space placing your three double crochets in the same uh, space cluster of double crochets so i'm going to use my stitch marker to mark exactly where i end so that i don't end up working pass where i'm supposed to end so you can use a piece of yarn instead so next i'm going to add my extra two double crochets to have uh, my total of three cluster of double crochets in that space so i'm creating the clusters to you meet where the stitch marker is and then you are going to um so here's the last cluster of double crochet and in this um where the stitch marker is you are going to just move along and chain up one and this time you can remove the stitch marker because you have finally located the place so you are mm. going to work where it was marked after chaining up one you are going to work just a single double crochet in that um place that was marked and then you are done with it so we are going to have this and yeah this is how it's supposed to be so next you are going to work another row of um another row for this section so after doing that you are going to chain up three and inside the same space add two extra double crochets making three clusters and after that, i'm going to chain one move to the next piece putting your three cluster of double crochets as seen so for the white section i'm going to do only two rows and then you are going to work the side panels after working this side for the white section so you are going to continue with your regular clusters making sure that when you get to the middle you just put two double uh, three double crochets chain to three double crochets to maintain the peak for the work so this is the last cluster of double crochets and we are finally going to meet the last the peak so you are going to chain up one put your regular three double crochets chain two three double crochets in the same exact space so yeah to so add your um your other three double crochets in the same space and then we are going to continue with your cluster of double crochets and making sure you have chain one spaces in between your work so just work this white section till you get to the end of the row
So getting to the end, we are going to locate the very last space there. And this time I'm going to put three double crochets in that space to have a straight edge. And I'm going to completely um, now focus on the side panels for the granite shawl. So now this is how we are going to make two symmetrical. This is the back panel and then that's the front panel. So I'm going to now concentrate on the side panels for both. So I'm just going to cut off my yarn and then concentrate on the side panels for. So that's the side one side panel and the other side panel is also over there. So we are going to work on that side panel and I'm just going to cut off. You can continue if you want or you can just cut off and reattach. So I just reattach at that peak, at the other side, and I'm going to chain up one, as usual, and then attach to this side. So I just slip stitch to attach at that corner, and I'm going to chain up three, go into the very um, same space, and then add an extra two double crochets, making a total of three chain to move to the next space and put three cluster of double crochets in the same exact space so I'm going to chain up to and every space I meet I'm going to put my three cluster of double crochets in the same space so make sure you chain up and put your cluster of double crochets in the same space to you get to the end of the side panel so we are almost at the end of the side panel so chain up here to just the very last um, cluster the last but one cluster and then we are going to chain up to and inside the top of the chain to we are going to put in three double crochets in the same exact space so this is what you're going to have for the side panels so you are going to like repeat in such a way that um, you maintain the straight effect so next i'm going to chain up three turn over your work go in between the cluster of double crochets and place your three cluster of double crochets as usual chain two three clusters um three double crochets making a cluster sorry i keep seeing three clusters so you are going to repeat this the granny shorts is very easy to make just make sure that when it gets in between you create your clusters and you are good to go and make sure you end well if you ended with three double crochets i'm going to end at the other side too with the three double crochets if you ended with just a double crochet you are going to do the same so i'm going to mark where i'm going to end for the side panel and then to make sure that i don't end up working to where i'm not supposed to work at so my yarn got finished at that section so i had to reattach and that's how i reattach so don't worry about the excess yarn. I'm going to weave in later. So I'm going to just chain two and move along with my cluster. So this is the last but one cluster. And then we have this time I'm going to end with a single double crochet. So chain two and double crochet in where I place the stitch marker. So that's the very last piece. And then we are done with the second row for the side panel so this time i'm going to change colors so i'm just going to cut off my yarn and then i'm going to weave in the excess yarns the thing about changing colors is that you get a whole lot of yarns to weave in at after but it's still cool so this is a back view i've not worked on them yet and then we are going to work on that seam, that side panel where the orange is. So it will be like you are surrounded with the white section in order to bring more detail. So this is what you are going to have after repeating your side rules. So I did 
two extra rules, two rules for the pink sheet, three rules for the orange sheet, and another two rules for the um, orange sheet for the side panels. So I'm going to, um, I did the back section, but don't worry, I'm not going to rush you through. I'm just going to show you my step procedures. So after making a slip knot and chaining one, I'm going to attach and I'm going to work the other side panel as well. So this is the other side panel we have not worked on. So I'm going to um, slip stitch to join. And then we are going to, after slip stitching smoothly, you are going to continue with your um, other side panel. So I chained up three and then I went into the next piece and added two extra double cushies, making a cluster of three double cushies as we did for the other side panel as well. So you're going to have three clusters and you're going to chain you're going to have a cluster, you're going to chain two, move to the next, and do your regular cluster of double crochet in each space you find. And this is very repetitive, like how we did for the other section. So I'm just going to fast forward for this section so that you don't get to know <laughs> get repetitive work. So I'm just going to show you a clear view of how I ended. Um, after placing your last but one cluster, I'm going to chain two and locate the top of the chain two from the previous row and place your three double crochets in the same space because you began with three double crochets for this short. So you are going to have a symmetrical work and you are going to repeat the same thing for another white sheet until you change colors once again and when you end this row you are going to end with a double crochet instead like how we did for here so that you have a straight wick so that's how the granny shorts work so after doing this i'm going to um reattach and then connect my um yarn my next color or shade of yarn and i'm still working the side panels so i'm going to slip stitch and then i'm going to chain up three and work your three double crochets in that same space making a total of three double crochets and also a cluster of double crochet so we are going to repeat this for the side panel, changing colors to however you want. And remember that we have two side panels, but then we are not going to touch the base. We are just going to work the side panels to fit how you measured for your hip area. So you are going to use your hip area for the measurement in order to know the exact number of rows to work, like how I did for the back panel already. So for the back panel, as I this is how the side panel is, and that's the same here we have done. So we are going to add another row of pink and go in with the orange three rows, and then your last two rows of um pink sheet. So the side, as I said, depends on your hip measurement. So I'm just going in with my measurement um for my hip area. So when you are finally done with your two pieces it's going to look like this after working the side panels and then i'm going to work on the base so to work on the base i'm going to basically take your hook and yarn and then slip stitch and chain one and then um, we are first going to connect the sides with single crochets so just basically join the sides with single crochets before you work on the bottom or the separated pant leg. So I'm just going to work your regular single crochets all the way down, making sure that you are getting the um, edges straight so that one does not become bigger than the other. So coolly single crochet um, at both sides to join so i'm done with this side and i'm going to do the same exact thing i did 
for this side as well and it's going to be symmetrical so i'm done with the wood size and as you can see the yarns are still there so i'm just going to turn over so that the seam will be hidden inside and then we are now going to concentrate on the base or the pant leg so this is the base the bottom of the base so i'm going to attach my yarn where i single crocheted to join so i attached my pink yarn as seen with a basic slip stitch and i'm just going to go ahead and work my clusters as usual so i just love working the clusters very simple so after chaining three i'm going to work three extra double crochets in that same exact space sorry two extra double crochets making a total of three so after doing that i'm going to chain to move to the next piece and then work your three double crochets just work your clusters of double crochet in each space as i've been showing you throughout this whole process so with the base you are just going to simply work your clusters in each space to get to the peak or the exact middle so i'm just working my clusters smoothly with my pink seed and yeah the only issue is that you are going to make sure that you locate you place your three cluster of your three double crochets in the space and that's all what you have to do and make sure you just end well so that you don't have something else so just work and then i'll meet you at the middle section With the middle section you are going to chain up two and then inside not inside but then the last double crochet for the three clusters over there you are going to place your three double crochets in the same exact space ignoring the chain one hole you are just going to locate the last double crochet for the side of the three clusters so after doing that you are going to chain up 11 i chained 11 to separate my pants leg my short leg so you can chain however you want to depending on however you want it so after doing that i'm going to locate the last double crochet over there and then place my three double crochet in the same space over there ignoring the chain to um space so next i'm going to chain to move to the next space work my double crochets and i'm going to repeat this chain to three double crochets in the same space as i've been showing you and this is very repetitive so i'm at the end and i'm just going to connect with the chain to chain two and then slip stitch into the very first double crochet you made and we are done with row one so with row two you are just going to chain up four move to the next space and put in three double crochets in the same space so after doing that, I'm going to chain to skip the cluster and go into the space with three double crochets. And I'm going to do this till I get to where um, the middle is. So just repeat your clusters of double crochet smoothly. And then, yeah. So I'm just working my clusters as you can see. And... As I told you, I'm going to um, do this to get to where you chained 11, where I chained 11. So this is how it's going to look. Um, so yeah, I'm finally at the end. And with this, what I'm going to do is to chain two and then skip the cluster, go into that space and put my 
three double crochets in the same exact space so you are basically <laughs> working your cluster so next you are going to chain two skip two spaces and in the third space, third space you are going to put three double crochets in that same exact space so yes skip two again in the third space put your three double crochets in the same space and then you are going to chain two put your last double crochet for the line aspect so i'm going to put your three double crochet in the same space and then I'm going to have this so next I'm going to chain to skip your cluster and in the space I'm going to put three double crochets in the same space as well chain to continue with your clusters of double crochet to the end so I'm almost at the end I'm left with like four clusters to make and I'm going to show you how I ended so with this um, granny showed sometimes you end with a single double crochet sometimes you end with three clusters in the same space so it's basically simultaneous so i just chained two and connected with a slip stitch as seen and then chained one to secure and i'm done with uh, this two sections and i'm going to do the same exact thing at the other side but then I'm going to continue the other section with my orange shade and pink shade again. So make sure you do this and I'm finally done as you can see. But then we are going to like single crochet to join the middle aspects of the work. But make sure you turn your work upside down so that when you single crochet and turn it again, the seam will be hidden. So make sure the seam will be um, becomes hidden because when it shows it doesn't look professional so as i said um i'm going to i'm done almost done with the last but one row so i'm going to show you how i ended for this session so i just chain two and place my three double crochets in that seam uh, um two do two double crochets in that same exact space and this time i'm going to connect with a slip stitch for the chain three in order to make like three cluster of double crochet in the same um, section so it becomes three clusters so next i'm going to chain three and inside that same exact space i'm going to add two extra double crochets to make this three clusters and then i'm going to continue with my chain two and three class um three double crochet in the same space um so i get to the end of the row so just repeat the cluster uh, making sure that you do the right thing and you are done so yeah i just uh, make sure you end with like three double crochets in the same space and then you chain two to slip stitch so i just slip stitched and then i'm just going to chain one to secure and cut my excess yarn and i'm going to weave in excess yarns later so i'm going to just turn my work as i told you and work my single crochet for the joining of the pant legs so i'm just going to take your yarn chain one and single crochet as seen to join the pant legs in the work so that um the seams does not show so we are working the single crochet on the wrong side and we are going to cut and weaving excess yarns later so after doing that i'm going to turn your work once again and then we are going to work on the base or the top sorry that is a base the top aspect so your work is going to look nice like this like i love how the details are so let's just move on to the top aspect to work the top aspect we are going to chain one as and connect as seen um, I'm using the pink shade for the connection so I just chain one and slip stitch so I'm just going to chain three once again from where I slip stitch and then work my regular double crochets this time so I'm just going to double crochet in each space 
and in on top of each cluster so i'm just making sure i double crochet regularly all around so double crochet all around to you get to the other side or the end of the row so i'm just going to show you how i work my double crochet smoothly so um after double crochet i'm going to end at where exactly i'm pointing we are not going to slip stitch to join we are just going to separate um for the back aspect you are just going to place a double crochet there and then end over where i placed my hook so i'm just working my regular double crochets all the way down and i'll show you what to do when you get to the back of the middle so this is the back and then i'm going to just place one double crochet in between so just place one double crochet in between the cluster and continue with your regular double crochets to i you get to the end where i showed you but then you are not going to slip stitch to join you are just going to separate so that we get this v detailed from what you saw on the thumbnail so just make sure you work your double crochets smoothly and make sure it doesn't ruffle so i ended over there as i told you and i left those that q space there and then that's what i'm going to do basically for this short but then i'm going to weave in the excess yarns as i told you and with the base you can go in with the regular rules of double crochet but i added, added some detailed call the um waffle so to do that i chained three and went on the back post of the double crochet as seen so now you are not going to go on top you are going to go at the back and then double crochet so the next one will be on top so go into the next and place your regular double crochet and then the next is going to be the back of the double crochet so go into the back posts of the double crochet and place your double crochet there so it's basically like from um we are creating something similar to the waffle stitch so you can do whatever but if you want a detailed tutorial um there are several so guys i'm almost done with my super cute top and i just made uh, one row of single crochet to get like this kind of v part and then i just love the details don't worry about the excess yarns i'm gonna weave in all excess yarns and now what you have to do is to make some cute little straps um you can add tassels for the straps as well and then i'm going to like weave in the straps to the front pose of the work only so it's like the front poses if you can see so like the straps are going to go in up and down up and down through the front poses and that will bring like the nice details for the front poses for the design i made for this short so yeah sorry the back poses <laughs> so like this is how your work is going to be like you can add a little details you can make the shorts more high waisted and you can make a little addition so the back is basically simple no cutouts and then there's the down very cute color combination on point i like the diamond in like the middle as well so if you want to learn how to make the top that goes with this cute little shorts just check the description box hit um um the link to that particular video because it's going to separate it. i wanted to add a button i realized that the video is going to be extra long so just like this video give this video a thumbs up and yeah i'm going to add the straps and then show you the final project after weaving in all the excess yarns as well in the ends as i told you for the front poses only so like i'm going to like struggle and 
how am I going to do this? I like I'm going to struggle and pull through like like that through the front poses so like whoosh. it's going to weave in nicely so like you see this is the first front poses and then this um, front pose will hide in and then I'll just cover it up like that but the good news is that this front pose is going to shine so I'm just going to like pull it up so that it shines sorry yeah so like I'm going to pull this I'm going to like pull this 